Hi, everybody. April 4th, 2020. Good morning. Welcome to the end times. Or, well, welcome back to the end times. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some wiring. So, yeah, I, I'm not really sure. There's going to be, a, from now on, there's going to be a lot of videos labeled random. And the reason that is, is because, you know, when I come out to do some work, I'm probably working on... Uh, generally, I try to work on one thing at a time, but you never know. I might be working on four or five different chapters worth of stuff at the same time. And so it's really hard to put, like, a name on, you know, one session. Like, okay, this two-hour session I was doing X, Y, and Z. No, no. It's... There's going to be a lot of stuff called random. And this is rando wiring. So, uh, what I'm working on here, I got my uh, soldering gun out and my nice silver solder, which I've since lost. And I'm wiring up the dimmer... Uh, pots for the lights for the Garmin system. So the, again, Garmin system is awesome and ha can have three dimmers, uh, inline dimmers, that can control all the different lighting buses in the Garmin G3X system, right? Including some external ones, right? So you can you can have three PMWs or, uh, or PWM pulse width modulations. Uh, basically, that just means uh, variable voltage to things like LED strips, right? Because LED strips can just take any volt, well, not any voltage, but any voltage up to their rated amount, and they shine brighter. That's basically it's just in, you know, more power in, more power out. So it can handle three PM, PWMs. You can also have three DC circuits, right? And so for those where I actually be uh, mostly using those uh, for the lighting bus and all of the different avionics, right? So we've got three knobs total. One is for the avionics, uh, so, you know, like the, the two big screens and all the radios and uh, GPS radio, right? So you turn that knob and they'll get dimmer. Um, now, most of these units have photocells so that they automatically dim, but in case that's not good enough for you, you can always install a dimmer, which is really cool. And all of this is programmable through all the settings. Again, Garmin, very awesome. The second one I'm going to use for... Uh, under panel lighting, right? So I'm going to have a couple LED strips underneath the panel. Uh, not around the sides, because I've got huge, you know, displays over there. They're going to be lighting up th their whole sections. So it's mostly just going to be in the center. So I'm going to have two strips in the center. And then the third dimmer is going to be for what I like to call the mood lighting, right? So I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to have some LEDs back behind the roll bar pointing down into the cargo bay because you need to be able to look back there for when we're flying at night and you need some Cheetos or something. Uh, there's going to be a couple of strips underneath the wheel wells or underneath the foot wells, so like some nice low lighting effect. And I was thinking about maybe even putting some under the armrest. We'll see. So those are what those, those three are for. Uh, and you actually... So what's going to happen is you wind up having... Uh, and, and so each three are rheostats, and I've gone over this before, right, what a rheostat is. It's basically a potentiometer. And now that I've got all of them wired up, I've gone ahead and put some shrink wrap on them. Uh, ironically, I wound up putting in about a foot and a half of uh, too much wire because the leads I need are only about <laughs> five inches long. I actually have to cut some of that shrink wrap off, which is funny. Okay, so here is, so here I am wiring up the stick, probably for the third time now. Uh, what I have settled on finally is .062 Molex connectors, right? Now, Molex gets a bad rap, and I can see why, but if you've got good crimpers, and you, you know, you take your time and you do it right, there's nothing wrong with Molex. Um... And 0 0.062 basically means the size of, uh, ba basically the scale, right? There's like many different scales of Molex. This is a nice small one. So I'm crimping those on. Uh, now the stick does have 10 wires. So this is a 9-wire connector. Uh, I, it doesn't have, we're not connecting the 10th wire because the 10th wire is the one that I need to route back to my microphones as that will be the push-to-talk ground, right? Uh, push to talk again, right? It's just an active low uh, signal ground, and to ground it, you need to have uh, the yellow wire attached. So, all right, some nice little wiring today. 
Uh, in the next video, we're going to be working back on the canopy and a little randy rant, well, discussion, so see you soon.